Those people want. Hold on, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. Salam Satsrikal Ji and welcome to the show. Just want to know that today we are doing immigration. We are doing a lot of things. 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 وہ ہے گا ویادہ ویادہ ایشو اے ہے کہ آج کل تو انہوں پتا ہے کہ ویادہ بچیاں دے مرضی نال ہوئے تو بہت بڑی آگا لیا بٹ انفورچنٹلی ساڑے کمیونٹیاں میں کچھ ایدہ نے لوگ بھی ہے گیا جیرے زبردستی اپنے بچیاں دے بیعہ کر دیا انہوں نے اچھاوات ہوں اگینسٹ جا پھر وہ اپنے بچیاں جنہوں نے سمجھ ہی نہیں کہ ویادہ ہندہ کیا جا کہ انہوں نے کوئی نہ کوئی منٹل ڈسیبیلٹی ہوں دیا جیدے بچے سپیشل نیڈ سن دیا انہا دا بیا کر دن دیا تو بچے یہاں دا گلت مس یوز ہن دیا کیوں انہا دی ہزبن وائفا پکے ہو کے پھر پا جن دیا او دے بارے اسی گل کرنی ہے فورسٹ میریج بارے جو ہے گیا تو ریسنٹلی جو قنون بدلیا او دے ریلیشن ویچ میرے نال میرے گیسٹ آیا مینڈی سنگیرہ جی جو کہ فورسٹ میریج یونٹ دے نال کم کر رہے ہیں and uh, she's an expert on the issue. So, Pallata, Mandy, Sashrikal, welcome Sashrikal. to the show. Thank you. Um, Mandy, Pella, tell us this. What is forced marriage? Forced marriage, what do you Okay. Forced marriage, um, very different here. Arranged marriage, too. Arranged yeah. marriage, here, you get a long-standing tradition up in the communities, in which up in the relatives, here, yeah. up a, find a good match, good family. Yeah. You know, forced marriage, here, it's when we up in the no choice, and they, they, we put them under a lot of pressure, under yeah. duress. And also, you don't have any capacity to make a decision. But also, capacity to make a decision. You don't have a child with learning disability. 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 Okay, the only traditional ideas, we have a forced marriage. This is a story from India again in the 70s and 80s. That the child, they take him to India or Pakistan. They take him to holiday. And then they wake up and they're married, you know. Yeah. And then they wake up and they're married, you know. And then they wake up and they're married, you know. And then they wake up and they're married, you know. Yeah. And then they wake up and they're married, you know. That still happen now, or has that does, forced I mean, marriage yeah, changed yeah, now? Yeah, it does. Sometimes that does happen. But the problem that I um, have sometimes is it's the emotional blackmail. Right. And all that sort of emotional Does that still go on? Yes. And a lot of that, that's the duress. This is where a lot of parents will emotionally blackmail their child. So say... Um, you saw somebody hard up and yeah. they, you say, Mum, well, actually, I'm not sure. And your mum say, no, Jungi Kuri, I didn't hard up. And then she's emotionally putting you under so much pressure that you think, oh, God, I don't want to upset my mum. I'll go through it. Yeah. And even though you might not think it's really a forced marriage, but you've been emotionally been beaten down that badly that actually it becomes a forced marriage. Does that ca is that categorising a forced marriage as well? Yes, it does, because that's a marriage under duress and, and whether you've not consented and you've not consented. So that's when a forced marriage takes place. It's when you haven't consented. Traditionally... The yeah. court, I see, um, our community always prides itself on the fact that we do everything for our kids, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we do everything for our kids, yeah. Yeah, yeah. our kids mean everything to us. So I find it, someone like me finds it hard to comprehend that no one will be able to kill their children. I mean, why but would the key, somebody okay. think, think bad for the children? Okay, there's a few reasons. The okay. first one is, is that the family honour of, yeah. you, know, sort of you know, keeping face in the community. Disability, uh, then it gets rid of the disability. It also feels like all oh, the normal, like they did on the Bihar, who get fixed and cannot even disabled here. Also, there's so on the one side, like, like, yeah, that um, the Bihar who got the fair disability, the thick who got. Yeah, because actually, okay, but, you know, we've been to cases where court, which is Jana Bihar, you know, okay, you know, Santhya, Peer, or go get Thani, or or in India, to another Bihar, Kerala, and fair, no. Um, any disability he called you the disability is never going to go away the families get exploited financially abused by this or for immigration and for visas we're talking on immigration legal layer yeah? may I say a lot I've seen it a lot in this yeah. uh, um, <laughs> my on the medical and they go I see Munda Vya Kya Ya Kodi Vya Kya Ya Jumma Dehra Mundial the on the Galeni Karni on the ja you know we mental capacity with that Salah the but yeah and you know you can see that and then I think, well, Panji, what do you expect? And then I think, it's quite amazing to have a child's capacity. Yeah, and I think, and what it is, there's a thing where up on your parents sometimes think, oh yeah, I'm next to Kenya, I've got his guardian, so I'm going to do it, but you can't, because actually, 
there's some things that you can't make a decision on somebody's behalf and marriage is one of them. Right. No, because Sade Mulkancha, we say Sade Marzia, but change it to Marjivia. Yeah. And if you come and tell me, if I was in India and you come and tell me that, hold on, okay, no, to Sapin Korea, Tinivasa, the Tivani Pan, and I'll say, do my Mila, you know, I mean, I, you know, to whom one who needs to duckle in our affairs. But but the thing is, because my work is about disability, huh. yeah? So, you know, I'll say to the mafia, and I'll say, look, you don't have any other, you know, I'll look after you, I'll look after you, I'll look after you, then they'll say, I don't have a smile, I don't have a smile, I'll look after my son. Yeah. And I'm saying, actually, that's not a marriage. A marriage is between a man and a wife because you want it, not because you need a carer. This is all the time that I ask you, that I go, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Body samban no ni hundi ya. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's oh, thano carer di lor ya. Yeah. Wife di lor ni. And so, and unfortunately, both against one is the both that the case on the side that children or the lajya and kuri yaar and mundi yaar and puri gal ni dis ni ona ne. Exactly. Kiri ke bache ko disability ya. Yeah. Some kids had autism and did that. We find out that autism which pata ni lagda ke bache di umar mental age ki ya because they look absolutely normal. And the other thing is with autism because actually, I mean, obviously with include me too, where me and you're both working and obviously we've had parents on this show as well that talk about their children. But autism is a condition where people lack a lot of social skills and not able to communicate. They look so normal to the parents and they can't understand or say somebody with a learning disability because if somebody's in a wheelchair they can see that oh yeah disabled yeah. but when somebody's a bit got a learning disability or autism sometimes the parents will say oh no you told us that they are and that's thinking yeah, no yeah. that's not the right word to be using that's right and and i'll say to parents look you know what are you going to achieve by this and i'll say no that's it in uko samalugi sanu sanu look after gurugi sanu basimani immigration li sanu you know pakki ho jugi sanu and there's loads of different motivating factors but the main one is for parents is about the whole keeping face in the community so actually if my child with a disability is married they've got children they look normal in society then it's like oh yes well hard up thoda slow up but abhya hai theek hai and it's really the same yeah kar ke fast ho jande exactly no i mean we had Pam on the other week, yeah. Pam Mali, and yeah. she was very good. I mean, um, but she's very clear about her. Well, no, she's not going to get married. Yeah, she's I mean, on, you know, her. it was heartbreaking. You don't care. Look, I know that my child is going to be married, and you know, if she's married, then she's going to be a burden on her. I think that's an attitude that parents actually, need, to, you know need to actually adopt. But I'll tell that. you what, though, Pam. Mm is very clear and very good about that. But however, there are some parents who were born and raised here, which I think you'll probably find quite shocking, yeah. Harjap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not people our age who are 40s and 50s who are taking their children. So second generation are taking their children. I'm thinking, what are you playing at? Why are you doing that? This is all I was thinking. Maape apne bachche nu force karuge. Isi sochuge ki wo desi hoge, nami nami aaye hoge India to. But from what you're telling me today, actually, ethere jampal maape, we take their kids out and get them forced into marriages. Marriages. And it's kind of looking at it that what else can we do? And there is a real issue, and I'm going to touch upon that because yeah. I think I need to. Yeah. Is the council has something called the eligibility criteria. Right. So eligibility criteria is that you have to have certain needs and then they will support you. So if you can wash yourself, feed yourself, the council is not going to give you a service because actually you're independent. Because now they only support people who are at substantial or of critical need. So that means you've got to be fairly disabled to access a service. Sometimes they want to go to education and there isn't any college courses out there. They might go to the health authority and say, look, I need help. And sometimes the parents will say, Oh, look, I've been to education, went to social services, I've been to the health authority, I've been everywhere else. There's nowhere else. Where am I supposed to do? And desperate people will do desperate things. You know, when a child is born, the registrar is trained on to spot these things. I mean, yeah. you know, that, that has this person got the capacity? I mean, that's one of the things we're taught in law, that a marriage, if someone hasn't had the capacity to be married, then that marriage can be null and void, you know, that exactly. is not valid. But and actually, that, you know that, what, that, in, that, the Quran, in, the, in, the, like in the Quran and, and in the Grant side, it tells you, actually, you've got to consent to marriage. You can't just force someone into a marriage. You know, all the religion sacred texts tell you that. But the problem is, a lot of marriages take place in India. Right. But there have been issues where marriages in here will take place in Gadawaras, and Gadawaras have kind of joined in with the family and have done it. And now we have, with the Foreign Office, we have kind of pushed that actually we'll strip the person 
off being a registrar because if we found that somebody was marrying somebody in the temples with somebody who had a learning disability or autism or mental health issues where they're in a psychosis so actually they might have capacity normally but if they're going through a psychosis and their mental health is really quite deteriorated and they're not able to make informed decisions and then the you know the registrar decides oh yeah it'll be you know and they do it you know is it worth losing your job and actually your reputation really mandi har jera bacche ko special needs hunde ya yeah. odde ko social work nahi hunda sareyan ko nahi no no all no. oh, no. right okay. that's what i'm talking about you need eligibility criteria jera mera na kya ya fair council jere jade sareyan to severely disabled or on health mil diya so people like pam mali's daughter doesn't get the support because obviously she doesn't meet the criteria yeah. if she does she might get very low level support yeah. Yeah. because she can wash and dress herself she ain't going to meet the eligibility criteria and that's quite strict is it very it, if you look at all the local authorities now say 10 years ago they used to support people with the low level criteria yeah. but now as the budgets have been constrained the local authorities have had to cut their budgets the councils had to cut their money they've had to only support the most in need wow okay so that's the thing called the fair access to to care so it's the eligibility criteria and that's where i'm kind of saying and parents will say to me tu menu aa kanni aa but look main itte consult gaya main itte doctor de gaya main itte mainu kisne help kiti nahi main hon ki kara and then that's where desperate people will do desperate things Mandy, give us some examples because okay. you've, you've, you've worked with I've over 250 yeah, with cases with disabilities. Right, so Mandy, I'll tell you examples because there are people sitting at home and probably thinking, nah, this doesn't go on in this day. Okay, I'll change the names. Okay, okay. I've, 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 we have to change the names. Yeah, change no, the names. Okay. Give us no, 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 but just give me a few yeah, examples. Yeah, give me examples. Okay, Gerard, see, he had a learning disability. Thought about that, you know, he could walk a little bit, but actually he had very limited speech. Das gyara galaka dasi makanaya, taklugia. Right, no, so no, that no, no, that's, that's it. it. That's his. That's the level. Okay. So, and then you know, he, but he was walking and talking, and then his mum went to India, found a girl uneducated, poor family to lucky. I don't know. Don't know. Can't tell me to what the pakki ho jaa. Then why can't some alunge? Then maap inu paise pe dia karunge. And they kept her here. So but, actually, the soda. Yeah, soda kalya. Fair onu janda nokarani wanga rakhe kar. So you know, sasri roti pani banana, husbandi look after kani, no na thro na sasnu look after kana. And and then her mum and dad, but. you know then raj okay on disability sec gave you gussa on the sea sarakar furniture band and the sea got sarakar sea so then you know the local authority no fe pata laga look you know era bhaya ho gaya san you know do ten saal baad pata laga and didn't they didn't they pick up on it then or didn't no, they no pata nahi laga so we didn't oh, know okay. they okay to holiday gaya ya on raj nu pata hi nahi si mera bhaya ho he didn't pata nahi si no but then he just thought that was his new friend no way so he didn't know that actually you know that woman was his wife he just thought it was just a friend who's looking after him wow So you know that's where you're making a mockery of what a marriage is. So what happened in that case? So then social services had to safeguard. We had a meeting, marriage end Karani Bay. So we had to move the poor woman out into a refuge because she had suffered quite a lot of abuse. Of domestic abuse. abuse. So you see, because they gave me my pickaxe and they looked sad. They're telling me that they're going to get married. They're going to get married. They're going to get married. There's two sides of it. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to get married. You know, visa. They are. They've gone away. Yeah, but then what do you expect? क्योंकि ਤੁਸੀਂ ਨੌ ਤਾਂ ਲੱਭ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਹੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਨੌਕਰਾਨੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਯਾ ਐਗਜ਼ੈਕਟਲੀ ਓਕੇ ਕੈਰ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਨੌਕਰ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਹੱਡ ਛਡਾਉਣੇ ਹੀ ਆ ਐਟ ਸਮ ਸਟੇਜ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਇਸ ਇਫਮਸ ਐਟ ਯੂ ਬੀ ਬਲੈਸਡ ਫਾਰ ਲਾਈਫ ਬਟ ਦੈਨ ਦਸ ਅਨਦਰ ਕੇਸ ਆਫ ਰਾਨੀ ਇਟ ਗੋਟ ਦ ਵੇ ਸੀ 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 
And you know, it's looking very unfavorably on our community. Hon the Baki community, yeah. Sadi community, and they are. Yeah. And the, when people say forced marriage, they automatically think of oh, a Pakistani community, India community, yeah, they do. Bangladeshi community, because it's probably more prevalent. It is, and that's because of the immigration that we have. Because if you look at, we've been in the UK now for 40, 50 years. So yeah. that's because of the makeup. So if you were to go to Germany, because there's more Kurdish people in Turkey, so yeah. they've got more higher levels. So you have to take it in the sense that it's attended. But, you know, it affects African communities, it affects um, Middle Eastern communities. Hon um, you know, with the Prime Minister, a key, um, very big summit, Ghanaya. we've got yeah, people from America, summit. India, the Gil Summit. We're talking um, about FGM, we're talking about forced marriages and child marriages. So we're doing a very big conference tomorrow, and we're now talking about it. And England, because I'm one of the founders, we have forced marriage, no, dasal ho gaya, forced marriage, no, um, create kitten, no. but for 24 years, saying to people, look, you are disabled people, you know, 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 can't look after themselves. They need to be safeguarded. So now I wrote the guidelines for social services yeah. to say to them, you need to assess capacity. You need to know if the person has consented to the marriage. A parent cannot say, oh, you know, you can't say yes, because the capacity law, you understand that yeah. as a lawyer. I mean, so, it's very important to say that, look, as a country, as a country, as a country, as a country, but if you have a illness, or if you have a mental illness, or if you have a mental illness, or if you have a mental illness, then you can go to the same place. You can go to the same place. You can't 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 go to the same place. So, this is the same place. And, you can't go to the same place. You can't go to the same place. You can't go to the same place. I have a family, I have a family, I have a family, I have a husband, wife, I have a family, 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 I have और इस सालों सात साल दी जेल हो सक दिया। तो थानों और छुआरे छुआरे महंगे बने हैं। But the other thing is, we got to, you know what? ये रहे हम ये रहे disabled people हैं। We social services can go to the court of protection, so it's a bit of a different court. So we get a forced marriage protection order. So order which लिखिए आप इतने सी इंडिया नहीं लेके जा सक रहे, तो सी इरानु पाकिस्तान नहीं लेके जा सक रहे। You know इरान को capacity नहीं है कि, so it's not the social worker that independent people will come and I will ask you hard up, you know. Can you feed yourself? You've been a pataya, look to up and look after Gandhi Sakala. Yeah. So we can clearly tell that yeah. you have not got the capacity to marry. And it's very, very difficult. And parents will say, no, Sani Pata. I've just seen a case um, recently that a child was mental, and a child was a child, a child was a child, but a child was a mental age, a child was a child. The social worker has he asked a question about his wife and his wife and his wife and his wife. He didn't do it. The social worker told his mother to clean up and see that you can't do it. Because he didn't know what he was doing. He said that he was doing it. He said that he was doing it in India and he was doing it in India. And now the social worker has ordered the court to order the forced marriage protection order. I've never seen one before. I've never seen one before. Forced marriage protection order. And he has also done the marriage. नल कर देनी है, so वो कुड़ी वाले भी हम परेशान हैं कि ये सारी कुड़ी नहीं नंगी या क्यों भी या and the mothers facing कुबो could be facing jail। well exactly, हाँ ना? सोच रही थी पर you know माँ पे कंधे लोग सादा नहीं आना यार, you know एक ही कर सक रहे हैं, but you see I guess he before the capacity came in you know back in 2005, parents were able to make choices and probably decisions, but you know people have a right to live their life the way they want to. so some people are now कई लोग कर बैठे होने हैं going to be thinking actually so, 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 so,
ਜੀ ਨੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਜੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਕੋਲ ਕਪੈਸਿਟੀ ਆ ਜੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਵਿਆਹ ਕੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਰਾਈਟ ਪਰ ਉਹ ਫਿਰ ਟੈਸਟ ਕਰਾਉਣਾ ਪੈਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਫਰਮ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਵਰਕਰਸ ਔਰ ਫਰਮ ਅ ਨਰਸ ਔਰ ਫਰਮ ਅ ਸਾਈਕਾਇਟ੍ਰਿਸਟ ਔਰ ਅ ਸਾਈਕੋਲੋਜਿਸਟ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਇੰਡੀਪੈਂਡੈਂਟ ਵਿਲ ਸੇ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਹਾਰਡ ਜਾਬਸ ਕਪੈਸਿਟੀ ਇਜ਼ ਆਫ ਆਫ ਐਨ ਏਜ ਆਫ ਐਨ ਅਡਲਟ ਇਫ ਯੂਰ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਏਜ ਇਜ਼ ਆਫ ਅ 12 ਈਅਰ ਓਲਡ ਹਾਊ ਕੈਨ ਯੂ ਗੈਟ ਮੈਰਿਡ ਯਾ ਇਫ ਆ ਡੋਨਟ ਈਵਨ ਨੋ ਵਾਟ ਆ ਵਾਈਫ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਸੈਡ ਹੁਣ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਮੁੰਡਾ ਗਿਆ ਉਹਨੇ ਤਾਂ ਸੋਚਿਆ ਕਿ ਮੇਰੀ ਫਰੈਂਡ ਹੈ ਬਟ ਰੀਲੀ ਮੇਰੀ ਵਾਈਫ ਨਹੀਂ ਹਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਹੀ ਸੋਚਿਆ ਕਿ ਮੇਰੇ ਲਈ ਖੇਲਣ ਲਈ ਕੋਈ ਸੋ ਦੈਟਸ ਐਗਜ਼ੈਕਟਲੀ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਐਂਡ ਅਮ ਐਮ ਨਾਟ ਰੋਂਗ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਵਾਟ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਇਆ ਐਂਡ ਦੇਅਰ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਸੈਂਸ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਵੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਥਿੰਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਇਟ how would you feel if somebody told you nyan in a secret or bro you know marry your daughter and abuse your daughter and used her as a nokarani would you actually allow that but then india ali ka kasoor nahi kyunki show nahi hota jaldi bahar chal jugi hai ola nu ola nu pata nahi lagda ke hafte ch ke bacche da dimag theek nahi ya bacche da bilkul sahi nahi par oh fir bhi kehnde chal tu thi hai vyah karke jad chal ja tu pakki ho ja yeah and the other thing is i want to talk about you know like young people as well you know it's not just a disabled because obviously you know on every on gavery map here given there you know oh mere kuri thodi westernized here you know on you know she's on facebook too much or she's got a boyfriend of a different caste mm-hmm. different religion so they want to control it and one of the big serious ones that i'm very concerned about is grooming if we can talk about we're going to talk about grooming and we're going to talk about young people but pehla break al chal diye to fan welcome to the gambhir masle te ho rahi hai ke forced marriage jada kise da zabardasti vyah karna ਇਹ ਉਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੁਣ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੁਣ ਕੇ ਹਟੇ ਮੈਂ ਐਂਡੀ ਤੋਂ ਕਿ ਜੀ ਕਿ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੂੰ ਬਹੋਸ਼ ਕਰ ਦਿਓ ਤੇ ਜ਼ਬਰਦਸਤੀ ਲੈ ਜਾਓ ਤੇ ਵਿਆਹ ਕਰ ਦਿਓ ਪਰ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਿ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਕੋ ਕੈਪੈਸਿਟੀ ਨਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਵਿਆਹ ਕੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਆ ਤੇ ਉਹਦਾ ਜ਼ਬਰਦਸਤੀ ਵਿਆਹ ਕਰਨਾ ਉਹਦੀ ਇੱਛਾ ਤੋਂ ਬਿਨਾ ਜਾਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਭਲੇਖੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਝੂਠ ਬੋਲ ਕੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਜਾਣਾ ਕਿ ਜੀ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਤੇ ਚੱਲੇ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਤੇ ਚੱਲੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਹੋਲਡੇ ਕਰਨ ਚੱਲੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਜੋ ਉਹ ਹੋਲਡੇ ਦੇ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵਿਆਹ ਹੀ ਕਰ ਆਓ ਜਾਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਦਾ ਵਿਆਹ ਖਾਣ ਗਏ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਨਿਆਣਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਜ਼ਬਰਦਸਤੀ ਕਰ ਆਓ um this it goes on especially on pehla jo in the 70s and 80s a bahut choti bachiyan na bahut hoya 16 17 18 saal di kuriyan na ke ji um kuri jawan ho gayi ji india le jao vyah karyo ja kuri a ede gore friend ho gaye ja eh ta kaale na gal kardi si nu zabardasti karke eda vyah karo ja eh ta skalta paun lag pe eda vyah karyo i mean uh, it, this is too carry on it is i mean and that still happens where family will say is about is that it's bringing shame on the family so you could be talking to somebody or dating somebody from a different caste and sometimes it's about actually my daughter's too westernized or or my boys um you know got a gaudy girlfriend so in india jacket back and yeah. and also there is an issue around sexuality you know nyani mar pekadam they look you he might be gay and then say you know in india back and all do or we don't know is fine but you can't do that you're ruining people's lives they could a case the bottom uh sone and kafi recently we as he walls all the which yeah, case yeah yeah jede which uh ਮੁੰਡਾ ਗੇ ਸੀਗਾ ਉਹ ਲੜਕੇ ਨੂੰ ਪਸੰਦ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦਾ ਸੀ ਮੁੰਡਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਸੰਦ ਕਰਦਾ ਸੀ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਮਾਪੇ ਨੇ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਗਏ ਵਿਆਹ ਕਰਕੇ ਤਾਂ ਉਹ ਉਹ ਛੇ ਹਫਤੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਸੱਤ ਹਫਤੇ ਬਾਅਦ ਉਹ ਕੁੜੀ ਲੂਤੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਮਾਰ ਕੇ ਹੂਵਰ ਦੇ ਪਾਈਪ ਨਾਲ ਫਿਰ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਗਾਰਡਨ ਚ ਲੂਤਾ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਅਤਿਆਚਾਰ ਹੋਈ ਆ ਐਂਡ ਉਹ ਸਿਰਫ ਇੱਕ ਗੱਲ ਤੇ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਆ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਲੁਕਾਉਣ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਦੀ ਜਾਂ ਉਹ ਇਹ ਸਮਝਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਗੈ ਇਹ ਬਿਮਾਰੀ ਆ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਵਿਆਹ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਹੱਲ ਹੋ ਜਾਏ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਲੜਕਾ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਲੜਕੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਸੰਦ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦਾ ਉਹ ਲੜਕਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਸੰਦ ਕਰਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਉਹ ਲੜਕੀ ਨਾਲ ਵਿਆਹ ਕੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਲੜਕੀ ਦੀ ਕਾਨੂੰ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਖਰਾਬ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਨਾਲੇ ਲੜਕੀ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਖਰਾਬ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਆਈ ਮੀਨ ਇਟਸ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਬਿਗ ਬਿਗ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਐਂਡ ਇਫ ਵੀ ਸਿਟ ਹੇਅਰ ਔਨ ਸਾਈ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ देयर इज नो ਗੇਸ ਇਨ ਆਵਰ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਔਰ
But I think the court is very hard on these sort of cases. We now. have now because you know what? Do you can't physical capacity? He doesn't understand the haga. We maybe are here. The fair or computer? They thought about that. You know, okay, but you have to realise some of these people have been not fitted into society because of their disability. People were like, oh, you you know, keep not want to integrate with them or not accept them into the community as well. So they feel alone and they kind of have very low self-esteem. They don't have much confidence. So if somebody's like saying to them, oh, you're lovely. So, you know, and they kind of think, oh, this is my friend. Oh, he means well by you. But these people are doing it. We had one case, you know, where um, an Asian guy groomed a goodie with learning disabilities, and I'm now taking him through court at the moment as we speak. Well, well, what you're telling me, it sounds like there's gangs out there. Well, it is. And do you know what? Up at, you know, up at the grooming is a very big topic. Gangs you know, of immigrants. Grooming yeah. disabled people. Wow. Yeah, and you don't think about that because it's not in your nature of work. So you're yeah, not. Could you gang out on huh? Immigrant and the unfortunately, any case, sorry, Maria, but Kush Vyakti Hagea, Jo Apani Vizeli Kushvi Karnali Tiara, or disabled or Tanavi Vyakan, disabled Bandana Vyakan Litiara, self Vizeli, one of the Maxa on the visa, or Jori Jori to Adib Jan to Bena, to Adib Jan Kari to Bena, to Adib Bachana contact her there. And there's few that have taken underage girls to Scotland to get married. I remember they caught one last year. And you know what they've done as well? Because you know, you're a person learning disabled. Yeah, you're on a parna ni on the paper. They're on a paper sign karte. And if some registrar is involved in it, or the imam is involved in it in the mosque, and they kind of gone with this marriage, yeah. and then the person with a learning disability. I had one about five years ago. The girl was married, and we didn't even know she was married. And the guy got pukka here and everything. He filled out all the paperwork, had everything to his house, and we were none of the wiser that she was actually married. Well, and apne bande jo grooming were so there, they think it's jala Muslim community, but it's not. But apne yeah. community yeah. which we are, I and see you know, a lot of cases where thing is uh, right. uh, Punjabi community is involved in grooming. Yes, it is. And I think what I want to say though, um, if a child has fallen victim of grooming. Mm. The children are too scared to come and talk to their parents, Harjah. 100%. And do you know what it is? I'm saying to parents, right, we need to stand up to these bullies. And so if your daughter is now kissed a, a Muslim boy or she's had a relationship with a boy, you need to say, OK, you've made a mistake. Not to say, oh, we're going to kill you, we're going to do this, because your daughter's too scared to come back and tell you what's happened. And then the problem's gone underground and she's too scared to come to you. She falls further victim into when, sexual the exploitation. The key is, yeah, bullying. don't isolate your children. Exactly. Yeah. And and you need you to Grooming gang so, they pass them around, don't they? Amongst their mates. I mean, I had a story which I think you might have read in Easter Night a few weeks ago, where, you know, there's a girl called Kieran who fell a victim of a gang. I've changed her name. And what happened was she was then beaten up and said, right, you better go and recruit more women. You need to go and target young girls. And, you know, so we're not looking at gangs just in the black community or in the white community. There are girls in our communities who are falling victims of gangs and being sexually exploited. And then what's happening is they're saying, no, you better recruit somebody. And then if that girl comes back, mom said, OK, you know, you just do it. like." Rapidly. And it's not just girls from... England, no. India, to I could yeah. be a shikar there, only a shikar there, Gulf for me. The to see the case, a miracle dot in Salpella, Amarjit, Pabiara Khan, Joke, Elford Vecho, Dalali Karisigi, Apani Kurian, the Vicharian, the Joe India to Ayasi, South Halwich, K. Kesia, as well, Jete Kuria, um, prostitute Abania, the owner de Dalali, Apanaban de Hikarea. But you know what? And it's a shame that our community doesn't do anything about it. But you know what? Because obviously I work with the UN and I work with Amnesty and obviously, you know, I work very highly up in the government. So what I'm saying to the government is, and they say to me, Mandy, why do people from India or Pakistan want to come to England and think the streets are paved in gold? Because they're clearly not. Because if they are... Listen, don't talk to me about it. I've been trying to tell them for the last 10 years. Have you? Yeah, but... Yeah, people but the problem is, you know, whereas step. years ago, a parent say to Jalja or a dear. So, like to me, I can assure you that my mum wouldn't send me the other side of the world 
to go and live with random strangers Dekho, i can assure you ya oh maapya da jehde apne kalli kudiyan nu itthe england bhej dinde ha as e vi nahi puchde ki ti hai je te paise bhej rahi ha ta kithe re kithe aunde ha te baaki ulta ki kehnde kehnde paise bheji ha tu pakki ho ja kise kise tarike na phir baad ch apna bhra mangai te sanu vi mangai system is sara system is sara ta jai ulta gaya is to really turn on its head yeah but it is and i think you know because obviously i used to live in canada and i'm a canadian as well so and it's really funny there the immigration because they have these marriages where they you marry my brother and i marry my sister and they do the whole well, thing in canada yeah it's called tu mera sala main tera sala so i marry your pan and yeah. you marry my pan yeah. in canada which bahut kam chalda hai yeah. and even in canada i've seen cases where people marry the sucky pan and have been caught out with a dna test yeah. because the officer interviewed and obviously you know what, because because working, obviously the because obviously we're working there's a, a person working in the foreign office with us at the moment because canada is now really high on this and they want to set up the equivalent to the forced marriage unit Brilliant, as well they should do. and because actually you know what there's a lot of punjabis in canada yeah. and 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 a lot of pakistani communities because actually years ago it would be if you were there married three years you could sponsor your whole family so it was like yeah. a, a golden ticket yeah. almost wasn't it well it, on a marriage visa it used to be as soon as you land you're permanent yeah exactly and then the next day the girls would do or the boys would do a runner yeah exactly you know, i mean they have changed a lot of the loopholes and we're working with them as we speak and this is where the summit again tomorrow is looking at actually a global um sort of angle and we're looking at solutions globally looking at actually what is india going to do what is pakistan going to do what is saudi arabia going to do what is the african countries going to be doing because actually do you know what forced marriage is not just an indian problem it's not it's a worldwide a, problem exactly and this is why yes we're in a summit here prime minister and all you know it's looking at it globally what can saudi community ki kar sakdi hai to stop forced marriages ki kar sakdi hai because एजुकेशन पता कि माँ प्यो ने थोड़ा सोचना चाहिए लोग न्याया नहीं मानता जो इन्ना पैसा लाना या फ्लाइट आते हैं जो होटल कराने यू नो किस बेचारी कुरी की फैमिली तो यू नो यू गैट पैलेस एंड ऑल दैट रोबिश इन इंडिया एंड देन यू नो टू थ्री वीक्स लेटर यू फिक नो करना नहीं यू नो द मैरिज इज गेटिंग डिवोर्स वॉट्स ऑनरेबल अबाउट दैट फेयर वॉट्स इज द दर अबाउट दैट मीन पर यू नो हम किसी की फैमिली की प्रॉब्लम है Yeah. I see so the sanu gear. Yeah. Why do we want to get involved in that? And that's the problem with the grooming, you know, Hajjab. Because actually somebody saw it. Do you know what? Actually, there's a case where a Pakistani father, yeah. he came to me and he said, my daughter's been groomed. And do you know what? He stuck a stance and he reported all of those guys and he got them arrested. And the community was saying, Dili Besti Hojaniya. He said, I don't care. He said, I'm looking after my daughter. My daughter fell victim. But up and people don't learn from that. We will... St- kind of think nobody don't want to know about it yeah. so we don't want nobody to know about it yeah. maybe we need to be learning because pakistani girls are getting groomed as well not just opening up with yeah that's right groomed. yeah that's right i mean this is what i always go about um that we make it an issue now it's just opening up with the ingroom it's not no. because if you pick up the papers and you know where to look and read yeah. you'll find out that actually girls from every community are getting groomed yeah yeah i've i've seen Sikh girls being groomed by Pakistanis. I've yeah. seen Pakistani girls being groomed by Sikh guys, immigrants. Yeah, and, yeah come over and um, forget that. I've seen guys being groomed by guys. I had, I had a matter of Galdas, sir. Come on. I had a, a kuri phone last week, and she goes, "Ma, hena, vya kita ya, hena." And I said, "Tere umar ke nikandi tahi saal diye main India toh hiya." Yeah. But she goes, "Mera husband thara ya shesh ho nikam hoda." And I said, "Oh, fir ki kar na kada?" She goes, "Ano pension lagi hai." ਅਸ ਪੈਨਸ਼ਨ ਉਹ ਪੈਂਹ ਸਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਉੱਤੇ ਲੱਗਦੀ ਆ ਅੱਛਾ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਉਹ 74 ਦਾ ਆ ਅਸ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਤੇਰੇ ਬਾਬੇ ਨਾਲ ਵੀ ਬੜਾ ਹੋਣਾ ਕਿ ਵਿਆਹ ਤੇਰਾ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਆ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਜੀ ਨਾ ਐਂਡ ਇਟਸ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਪਤਾ ਹੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਵੀਜ਼ੇ ਲਈ ਵਿਆਹ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਸੋ ਫੋਰਗੇਟ ਯੰਗਸਟਰਸ ਗੇਟਿੰਗ ਗਰੂਮ देयर ਆਰ ਐਲਡਰਲੀਜ਼ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਬੁੜੇ ਬੁੜੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਗਰੂਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਐਂਡ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਥਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਫਾਈਨੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਯੂਸ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਇਟ ਡਸ ਕਮ ਡਾਊਨ ਟੂ ਵੇਅਰ ਪੀ ਆ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਯੂ ਪੁਟ ਐਨ ਐਡਪ ਯਸਟਰਡੇ ਡਿਡਨਟ ਯੂ ਐਂਡ ਡਿਡ ਯੂ ਫੋਰ ਯੂਰ ਓਲਡ ਮੈਨ ਰਾਈਟ ਦਿਸ ਮਾਰਕ ਉਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੱਭਣੀ ਹੈ ਕੁੜੀ ਕੋ ਦੱਸੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਕਮ ਟੂ ਮੀ ਫੋਰ ਇਟ ਬਟ ਨੋ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਸੀਰੀਅਸਨੈਸ ਆਫ ਥਿਸ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਵੀ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਪੇਰੈਂਟਸ ਓਕੇ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਕਾਨਟ ਮੈਰੀ ਪੀਪਲ ਫੋਰ ਇਮੀਗ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਨਾਟ ਮੈਰੀ ਆਰ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਫੋਰ ਕੇਅਰਸ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਨਾਟ ਮੈਰੀ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਯੂ ਥਿੰਕ ਇਟਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਰਿਡ ਆਫ ਦ ਡਿਸਬਿਲਿਟੀ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਵਾਟ because you're falling victim you're getting exploited and our children should not be sold it doesn't matter how hard times are i mean you know what's honorable about that and i think we need to be very clear to parents and you know we need to
And exactly. other people from other communities, and we're going to lose our youngsters. Because actually, you know, we're not engaging with them because we're saying, no, we don't want to talk about it. It's not our problem. It doesn't happen in our communities. If I think that there's a marriage going on and the child hasn't got capacity to be married and the mum and dad are forcing him, yeah. what can a person like myself or what can a person sitting at home do to okay. stop that? What okay. Can, okay. Can, can, can okay, if you know that the person is, it's very hard to go and report it, but you know what, it might be worth to ring the local authority and just say, look, to the council, say, look, I'm quite concerned, or speak to the family and say... speak to the council? Yeah, speak to the council, go to the social workers and say to them, look, actually, do you know what? I've got concerns about my neighbour, his son's got a disability. I know that we don't want to get involved. Yeah. And we think, oh, it's not our business. Yeah. Like, you've got to get business. Will the council listen to us? But they have to have a duty to do that because it's under the safeguarding. So when a vulnerable adult with a learning disability or autism or with mental health or with a visual impairment or a hearing department or a physical disability, they come under the umbrella of a safeguard. They come under safeguarding. So the local authority has to safeguard them. We have, you know... Um, the no secrets and we have you know the whole safeguarding process about protecting people from being sexually um, exploited financially abused psychologically all these abuses happen in a forced marriage so that's why the local authority has a duty of care to protect that person can we report it to the police yes right so you know Will what the it police is do anything the police sometimes has to look at it and they have to report it to the local authority so what will happen say if somebody with a learning disability um, comes to the attention of the local authority. The local authority has to take the lead. They normally have the police around, they have psychiatrists, they have lots of people, myself included, uh -huh. around a table, and we will decide. And the first thing is, it's about determining the capacity and have they consented. Did they actually even understand what was happening to okay. them? So and Jamie, if they haven't, uh, uh. then we have to go down the court of protection and, and protect that. And you can see yeah, he knows exactly what And then you have there. to leave it, but then it's about putting safeguards in and saying, look, you know, have you thought about it? Do you know, do you think this woman's really going to stay? Do you think this man's really going to stay? Right. And it's asking these families these questions. Right. Because you don't have capacity, they understand, or they have a right to get married. I'm not anti-marriage, I can promise you. Yeah. But it's when you don't have the capacity and you haven't consented, that is when it's my business. Right. Um, so you can phone the police, you can phone the local authority. Policies. What's the forced marriage unit? Yeah, the forced marriage unit will work with it. So a lot of things will come to the forced marriage unit first. So say if it's in London, yeah. in um, Ealing now, yeah. so what they'll do, they'll say, oh, somebody's tipped off to us today that carjack from such and such a street yeah, yeah. Um, it's been brought to our attention that he might have a learning disability so then the local authority even though you might not be known to them they have to do a well-being check and come and check on you to see if you've got a capacity see if you are going to get married and so they won't use the family as interpreters they will take somebody independent normally from another local authority because we know that our communities are quite interlinked and everybody knows everybody don't they right so basically because that's quite strict, is it? Right. They can get married. So you know what? So that's the ones where social services or myself will say nay Right. They can. Right. Um, I, with, with the forced marriage unit, so does it deal exclusively with cases abroad? Both. Or, or does here it deal with cases here as well? Here and abroad. So say like a young person has been taken huh. to India. Huh. So we try and find out if we know what, because India, Punjab is a very big place. Yeah. And we need to know what kind of bend, or is it in Jalandhar, is yeah, it in yeah. Godhar, or wherever area. So if we know closer to where we are, then we've got more chance of finding, because the time is off the essence. Yeah. So sometimes, you know, the marriage will happen very quickly within mm. days. Yeah. So how can, how can you prevent that then over there? I mean, have you got a team of yeah, people in India? Yeah, we do. We have consular staff over there. And then, and then we do, have do to they, get, do they, do yeah, they we have to go over and pick up the child. Yes, we do. And we have to go and pick up that child, bring them back to the UK, try and save so them. Yeah, no? Have you got powers to bring yes, children back to the UK? Yeah. yeah. Wow. But th th that's what it is, because actually I think people don't realise because we have a duty to protect British nationals. Right. And but you know, you're disabled. You're not you're not being married. You see, I welcome the forced marriage legislation, but I have concerns. You're not you're disabled. They're not going to report their parent. You're not you're not mummy daddy to go give me to see look after can you me no can I apply they're not going to report their parents. Yeah, well, I mean, you can't expect the so child to report their parents. I mean, that's where you know there is going to be some real problems 
But where a young person, if they're going to be forced into a marriage, they're going to make a clear choice to never come back to their family and going to be looking over their shoulder probably for the rest of their life. So, you know, those children have made a choice to leave then and never come back unless the family have kind of in time decided, OK, we we'll might accept this and let Mandy come back home. OK, so if I'm a young child yeah. and I think I'm going to be forced into a marriage, who can I contact about it? If you can speak to your teacher, speak to people that you know. Are teachers that trained to, to Yes, talk. we have. We're doing all of this because now part of the legislation is schools have to be aware of this and every school's been taught and had education. There's guidelines in place. Right. And that's something that I've been involved in now because we've been working and updating the new guidelines as we speak. Yeah. And so as every professional that comes in, so whether you're the police, social services, the health authority, teachers, education, colleges, universities, there is safeguarding um, guidelines for you to follow. And right. they're very, very simple. They are not very difficult. And it tells you what you have to do. And at the moment, I'm working on the pathway, so which is going to be just one chart. And it's going to show you. So if you're the police officer, what your responsibility is. If you're the social worker, what's your responsibility? And the forced marriage unit. We're just updating that as we speak. So the teacher should be your first point of call. Yeah. Right? What about can you tell a friend? And you tell, tell your friend, and if you can tell your friend, if you could give your friend your passport number, maybe yeah. tell them that you know, look, I'm going to Lahore or I'm going to Punjab or Gujarat, but you know what, um, I live near um, Jalandhar. I think my mum said my bend is uh, yeah. you blah, know, blah, said, blah, yeah. blah blah, and so you know, you kind of to find somebody. Um, sometimes, you know, like Khan and Ivana, and there's some very good charities out there. That's that are, right, yeah, yeah. You know, Jas Sangira and Anita Prem and that, who've got that app for young children, uh, Freedom Charity. There is a lot of support out there for children. I mean, you know, we've told kids, you know, hide spoons in your clothes so it sets off the fire, you know, the alarms at the airport. Wow. So if you know, so at least you'll be taken aside and you can say, look, I've been forced. Because actually Khan and Ivana, Jas Sangira's team, have actually been doing lots and lots of um, training with immigration officers at Birmingham Airport and Heathrow and all the other airports to recognise children being drugged up or being put under duress to be flying. We're going to go to a break and after a break we're going to talk about more about tactics, about what people can do, about yeah. the girls' summit that is going on tomorrow. Okay. But also, break. Sorry, forced marriages. perhaps and in fact, also, um, the government can take the bachi away from them. I mean, yeah, that should be a very last resort. Yeah. You know that, because obviously the local authority isn't there to, to take away a child. But if a child becomes a child in need and it's been abused and everything else, then obviously we have a duty of care to protect that child. And also we have a duty of care to protect the vulnerable adult. Jere immigration officer yeah on yeah. training yeah the the cuz you know Nirvana just Sangera um they've done lots of training in Birmingham airport and for Heathrow airport so they going in so Honda you know they had a campaign to say to children you know hide a jump jar or hide something in your pocket so alarm jar you go so then you can say look actually my mum's trying to board me on a flight because i'm going to be forced into a marriage on the other side and then they have a right to take the child away and then report the local authority and get the police involved sometimes you hear stories about yeah. it's like her against her whole family exactly and, I mean, and that's on a base violence isn't it because yeah. you know violence Domestic violence is on a one-to-one -one normally yeah. with a partner or a husband. It's more of an intimate relationship and where that's where it is. So honor-based violence is so different from domestic violence because that's where the whole community is involved, families are involved. So say like, and then she moves to Birmingham from London and then her brothers and her cousins are all driving around the universities looking for her, like kind of bounty hunting for her. It is almost. bounty hunting, yeah. It is. And you have to say to them, is it worth it? Why can you not let her live and let live sometimes? And families will say to me, yeah, but sadi BST kitti, sadi honor krab kitti. But you need to see apni kuri nu force karke ho ke tabiya karani and then she gets raped and abused. And all khwara vich aunda fir kare fir thodi izzat mud ke aa jandi hai. Yeah, exactly. I mean, is that still a big thing? Yes. That is that thing? Yeah. And is it happening just different religions or different castes? Do you know what, well? can I talk to you? Because actually, you know, one of the things, I work within the traveller community, yeah. so the gypsy culture. Okay. And theirs is a bit different. So what with theirs with the honour is, um, say like if somebody was dating you, Hanja, yeah. and then you were knocking her about and she didn't want to marry you, hers, and then your sisters will say, we're going to give her a bad name now. 
Okay. Because Rani, because she didn't want to marry you, or oh, she's a bad girl, because that's it. And then her family will say, no, Rani, you better marry hard, Jack, because we don't want that bad name. So that honour, do you understand what yeah. I'm saying? It's about keeping face. Yeah. Well, gypsies originally are, you know, came from India. Yeah, exactly. You know, so the thing you can understand, it's still there. I mean, you think, do you still hear of cases now where people have gone, who are not disabled, yeah. have been taken to India or Pakistan and been married off against their will? Well, we did. You know what? We've had 1,500 cases. Wow. In how many years? In, um, just last year. Ikhsaj? Yeah. 1,500 cases? cases. And that's the tip of the iceberg. We know that there's so many more. Arthur see did it, Saudi attention, our gear. And then because there's a lot more awareness going on now. So professionals know, teachers know, and the police know. Because if I get guidelines, but I get hung out. If it's not in we look, you know, to see how it's up, we are going that you can't do that. So everybody knows where they have to, to do that. Do you ever sit down with the parents? Yes. And put them through this and then say to them, and do they realize, or do they think, well, hold on, you've just been a busybody sticking your door well, yeah, the They have it both ways. Right. So, no, lots of them will say to me, you know, like it comes back to the earlier conversation, they'll say, doctor, so, you know, and you have to say to them, look, we've got to find other solutions. Yes, there are few, we'll say, you know, but a lot of them will say no. They understand. I think when you sit down and say to families, look, your daughter will have to consummate the marriage, so she's going to be raped. Yeah. Because she doesn't want to marry that guy. She's not going to consent to that marriage. So, and then, well, who's, what's so honourable about rape? What's so honourable about, right. you know, abusing somebody in the name of honour? What is honourable about that? Nothing. So it's about saying to families and communities, you know, you're at India, you are there, you know, sometimes they, most of them, okay, have got an alternative to be here, motive, haven't they? They want a visa or they want a better life in the UK. Yeah. Would you uh, not agree with me? Economic migrants. I would yes. say 95% of migrants are, econ are economic migrants. Yes. Yeah, but I not many of them are going to do it out of the goodness of their heart and think, oh, I really love that disabled person or I love that young person. But, to be honest, there are a few and look, that, you know, that, have that, worked. that have worked, yeah. But, you know, you can... No, we know that and there have been cases. You know, like, include yeah. me too. They've Because yeah. obviously they're going to be working with me now because they're going to be delivering some of the training about vulnerable adults. And I know that they've par me and her team have supported people who have got capacity to get married and they're supporting them to, to build a life and they're okay with that. And there's other organisations up north who are doing the same work. The issue is, it's when you don't have the capacity and you haven't consented. That's the issue when it becomes a forced marriage. If you know what a marriage is and you're able to make those decisions, you have a right to get married. The parents, if some of them have decided to do this and then they come back and regret it i mean oh, well, uh, really. if they admit it do they, i mean is there fit i mean some might not just not admit it because they fear well hold on we might be getting sent to prison yeah, yeah. and do you know what we had a case of a pakistani family just recently they went to pakistan um i've changed the name again sorry i have to change uh, yeah, names yeah. because obviously no, ahmed no. so ahmed went with his mom and his sister to pakistan to see his cousin and then when he got there, mum thought, nay, but the kia, very munda thora, you know, got mental health, era gusaya, era biak meka nani. That then, did the community see, you know, whatever yeah, you call him, so, lumbada, yeah, so so whatever, whatever, whatever yeah. you want to call him. He turned around and said, no, to see honi kuri, the kia tanu ea biak anna benak. But he was related to her because it was her chacha. And he was thinking, no, she needs to be going to Pakistan. And she needs to go out to England, sorry. And, you know, and they forced, so they forced the whole family to go through with this marriage. Yeah. So it's not just the vulnerable person being forced into a marriage, the whole family were being forced and to marry the And they were pressured by the way. Yeah. Now, some people think that right? And they say, Baba Ji, our child is not fine, it's not fine. So Baba Ji says, ah, it's not fine. Yeah. Okay, ah, you do it, your child is not fine. Yeah. Now, Baba Ji has its own meaning, that you have to take your money, or you have to take your money. That's why people don't understand. Yeah. But there is also a kind of pressure. Yeah. I mean, is there anything that can be done about these middlemen? I mean, we have. I mean, you know what? Because obviously... Have you caught any of these yes, people? Yes, we have. You've yeah. read me articles. Yeah. Because we've had to bring people to justice and I've had to take them to court. Because actually, we had somebody who didn't have an arm. Yeah. And they said to the mum, you know, the door here up on the lady up bad. And I said to the mum... Bam or kia do I said to the mum, I said, have you ever seen somebody's arm come back? Only I in said, film Iron Man 3. Well, not in <laughs> yeah. No, not in reality. Yeah, yeah. So, so I said you get a synthetic arm, but it's about developing your independence. So why are you wasting your money and doing this? And, but you know what? A lot of people are uneducated, they're desperate, they don't know what to do. Yeah. And 
there's another element to this as well Jodo. because jado sade bacche kehne ch nahi hunde ya jado sade maade de naunde ya then fir asi automatically sochne lag pande ki kisne koi jadoo karta koi koi kaala jadoo karta yeah. and we start taking our kids to places where perhaps they shouldn't be you know yeah, exactly yeah and this this stories of abuse there as well exactly. sexual abuse and yeah. child abuse yeah, there. there is that i mean and that, the other thing is because actually you know because one of the things that i do because i do a lot of work with the nigerian community yeah. because they believe that children are witches and they believe in jinn and as so does it, um, like muslim communities because yeah. they believe in spirits live amongst them yeah. hindus and sikh community believe in black magic so that's a bit different yeah. so they think somebody's put a spell on you or we believe it on karma yeah But, yeah, so, we, yeah. so actually we believe that um, it's our past deeds yeah ke je ko bachcha disabled hunda on pichle janm ch koi maada kita hunda jaise maada kita hunda no it's not because actually it's genetic and science and and things like that there's so many different motivations so we, we turn them into a criminal before they even born the poor exactly. kids yeah. i mean instead of you got of, no chance sometimes yeah, have you yeah you, you can't win can you without no, them sometimes i mean and i suppose a lot of your fight is to combat these old ideas very much so hana so you, you you're actually fighting a mindset very much and do you know how hard that is and i don't I, think I, people okay, really I, I, I can i can probably tell you're not very well like you're probably not no, very well no i'm actually really. do you know what such wood yeah i am because i think because of my work is around the vulnerable adults yeah. and but the thing is i've been very clear and yes you know there are some people that don't like what i have to say but then you know what you grow the truth is, the truth is and the other thing is yeah. though i'm very resilient i'm not here to be liked so if somebody doesn't like me i'm not going to lose sleep over it hard yeah and if somebody's going to call me whatever like they me, want yeah. to i'm not going to be bothered because exactly. their opinion doesn't mean a great deal to me exactly so i don't have those and that's where you know it's quite funny because i'm going to be running a workshop with bin these actually about developing your confidence at warwick university and somebody was sort of laughing about it the other day and i was saying mandy you seem so resilient but i said you know sometimes you have to stand up for what you believe in and if you look at sikhism and lots of other religions they tell you to stand up for the underdog and understand up for injustice and actually that's you know sikhism is come about about force not you know standing up to no religion people. says you should forcibly marry a woman no, yeah no. or you try and even in the quran yeah. it tells you that yeah so to see ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਜੋ ਵਿਆਹ ਜ਼ਬਰਦਸਤੀ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਇਹ ਗਲਤ ਹੈ ਆਪਣੇ ਧਰਮ ਦੇ ਖਿਲਾਫ ਆ ਇਹ ਇਨਸਾਨੀਅਤ ਦੇ ਖਿਲਾਫ ਆ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਦੇ ਫਾਇਦੇ ਦੇ ਖਿਲਾਫ ਆ ਇਹ ਜੋ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਆਉਣੀਆਂ ਆ ਇਹ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਹੀ ਬਣਾਈਆਂ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਆ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਲਾਜ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਬਜਾਵਜੂਦ ਜਾਂ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਲੈਣ ਦੇ ਬਾਵਜੂਦ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੋਚਦੇ ਆ ਜੀ ਕਿ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਵਿਆਹ ਕਰ ਦਿਓ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਇਲਾਜ ਹੋ ਜਾਊਗਾ ਜਾਂ ਕੁੜੀ ਆ ਜਾਏਗੀ ਉਹ ਆਪੇ ਸੰਭੇਗੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਤੁਹਾਤੋਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਾਂਭ ਹੋਇਆ 20 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਚ ਉਹ ਬਗਾਨੀ ਕੁੜੀ ਕੀ ਸੰਭੂਗੀ ਤੋ 6 ਮਹੀਨੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਦੱਸ ਮੈਂ ਕੋਈ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੋਈ ਜਾਦੂ ਵਾਲੀ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗੀ ਫੇਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਰੋਨੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਇਸਤੇਮਾਲ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਤੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਭੱਜ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਪੱਕੇ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਇੱਕ ਸਰਕਲ ਆ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਸੋਚਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਜੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਕੋ ਕੋਈ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਬਿਮਾਰੀ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਤਾ ਕਿ ਵਿਆਹ ਕੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਉਹਦਾ ਜ਼ਬਰਦਸਤੀ ਵਿਆਹ ਨਾ ਕਰੋ ਹੁਣ ਇੱਕ ਕਾਨੂੰਨ ਵੀ ਬਣ ਗਿਆ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਜੇਲ੍ਹ ਜਾਣੇ ਪੈਣਾ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਦਾਂ ਕੀਤਾ 7 ਸਾਲ ਦੀ ਜੇਲ੍ਹ ਹੋ ਸਕਦੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਐਂਡ ਦੇਅਰ ਆਰ ਕੇਸਿਸ ਇਨ ਕੋ ਐਟ ਦ ਮੋਮੈਂਟ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਅ ਕੇਸ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੋਰਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਵੈਰੀ ਹਾਈ ਕੋਈ ਯਾ ਸੋ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਦਾਂ ਹੁਣ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜ਼ਬਰਦਸਤੀ ਬੱਚੇ ਦਾ ਵਿਆਹ ਕਰੋਗੇ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜੇਲ੍ਹ ਜਾਓਗੇ ਇਹ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਜੀ ਗੱਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖੋਗੇ ਫੇਰ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਰੋਗੇ ਜੀ ਤੁਹਾਤੋਂ ਬਿਨਾ ਸੋ ਫੇਰ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮਾਰਾ ਮੋਟਾ ਚੱਕਥਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਫੇਰ ਤਾਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੁੱਛਣਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਬੱਚਾ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਿ ਮੇਰਾ ਮਾਪੇ ਜੇਲ੍ਹ ਚ ਹੋਵੇ ਤਾਂ ਮਾਪੇ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਇਹੀ ਸੋਚਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਕਿ ਕੋਈ ਐਸੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਬ ਐਦਾ ਦਾ ਕਦਮ ਨਾ ਕਰੀਏ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੱਚੇ ਦੇ ਖਿਲਾਫ ਮਾਜੀ ਦੇ ਖਿਲਾਫ ਐਸੀ ਜ਼ਬਰਦਸਤੀ ਕਰੀਏ ਐਂਡ ਬਾਕੀ ਜੋ ਐਸੀ ਜੋ ਇੱਕ ਚੀਜ਼ ਤੋਂ ਨਿਕਲੀਏ ਕਿ ਜੀ ਲੋਕ ਕੀ ਕਹੂਗੇ ਲੋਕ ਕੀ ਕਹੂਗੇ ਇਹ ਲੋਕ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸਹਾਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਣਾ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੰਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੋਣਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਕੰਮ ਖਰਾਬ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਹੀ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਕੁ ਲੋਕ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਮਦਦ
ਕਿ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਉਣੇ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਮੈਂਦੀ ਆ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫॉर ਕਮਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਦ ਸ਼ੋ ਕਿ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਏ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮਿਲੂੰਗਾ ਫਰਾਈਡੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਫੇਰ ਆਉਂਗਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰੂੰਗਾ ਤੇ ਓਬਵੀਅਸਲੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੋਈ ਵਿਸ਼ੇ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਆਨ ਫਰਾਈਡੇ ਫਿਲਹਾਲ ਜੋ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਆ ਹੋਪਫੁਲੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸਮਝ ਵਿੱਚ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਹੋਊਗਾ ਤੇ ਇਹਦੇ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਦਾ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਉਠਾਉਣਾ ਆਪਣੀ ਨੌਲੇਜ ਇਨਕਰੀਸ ਕਰਨਾ ਉਹਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਪੜਨਾ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਟ ਤੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਕਿ ਫੋਰਸਟ ਮੈਰਿਜ ਕੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਆ ਫਿਲਹਾਲ ਫਰਮ ਮੀ ਐਂਡ ਮੈ